Hi everybody, so I am in the passenger side. This foundation is so <laughs> incredibly oxidized. Holy shit, I never realized how orange it looks. Won't be using this again. I'll have to get a different shade. I use the Maybelline 24 hour in 120 classic. I usually use 118 beige and I didn't realize till I'm filming in natural lighting how orangey it is. I'm sitting at the doctor's, my husband had a checkup and we were just gossiping so I took a ride with him. So I thought I would pop my camera on. I wish you guys could see me a little bit better maybe if I do that. Oh, there we go. So I drove with him um, cause we were gossiping and I stopped, well he stopped at Dunkin Donuts and I just got a small refresher. So it's a dragon fruit. I don't really love the dragon fruit or the strawberry. My favorite in the whole world is the apple cranberry but they haven't had that in so long. So what I do is dragon fruit with coconut milk and it gives it like, you know, like the refreshers at Starbucks. You would have to like coconut. I don't know if you've ever had coconut milk, but I've been thinking about replacing the whole milk in my smoothies with that as well, because I've been having a smoothie a day and replace like doing it. It's almost like a meal replacement um, doing like a smoothie um, and I think I'm gonna get some coconut milk but I thought we would go through my purse and see what kind of junk I have in here I'm gonna you can see it's like bulging out I might just post this video unedited for fun because I'm by myself I was gonna read and I'm probably gonna sit and read for a little bit so I finished the um, I read uh, what the hell was it called from Colleen Hoover slammed was that what it was called i did not like it oh my god it was bad and like you guys i have i try never so when i do my goodreads i don't do memoirs i don't write memoirs because it's like that's somebody's life and i don't really rate non-fiction and i try very very hard to be very lenient with books because i don't like to be critical and I very rarely do one or two stars, but I read that and it was like, if you were a teenager, you would love it. Like if my 16 year old daughter read it or when I was 16 and read it, I would have loved it. It was definitely one of the most young adult books I've ever read. It wasn't bad at all, but I'm too old to read that. So I never picked up this, I never read the second one. Then I read, um the the book oh uh pause let me go see what it is i'll be right back it was the inheritance of cordia divina it was a mexican-american book i know i'm saying that very wrong now at first i didn't like the first half of the book it was a little um hard to follow but i really would have i enjoyed the duo timelines but i prefer which always happens i always prefer the past tense like the past tense story it was a good book i gave it three stars i enjoyed it but i liked the second half better and i preferred hearing about when she was in the circus and her life growing up i wish it would have been more focused on that and less of the inheritance with the family and the weird stuff going on 100% not a horror, not a thriller. If anything, I would say it's a family drama contemporary with a little bit of paranormal. It was a fun read. I definitely enjoyed it. Then I don't know what made me read this novella, except that someone on TikTok was talking about how shocking it was. So I'm like, you know, it can't be that shocking. What the hell was the name of it? Um, No One Rides for Free. It was only a 75 page. Oh no, please don't hit my car. It was only 75 pages. It was an elderly couple. I didn't know if they, they hit the curb. It was 75 pages. It was called No One Reads for Free. You guys skip it. It was so graphic with I can't even talk about it on here. It was 
the most disgusting, disturbed book I've ever read. And like, I thought they were exaggerating and being funny. I also gave that a one star because I'm not even sure what kind of person would write about it. It had essay with, um, but it was like somebody forcing other people to do it, a brother and sister, a mother and her children and um, an elderly couple. It was like really disgusting. So I will never read anything from that author. Like I like taboo books and I also like splatter, what is it called? Splattercore or um, like I'll read crazy shit, but even for me, like I even read like The Hunting and Haunting of Adelaide. I like, I've read Tampa, like weird books. I'll read stuff that's like Splattercore, is that what it's called? That you, or spat, splatter punk. it doesn't usually bother me, but no way. <clears throat> that was way too, 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 too much, even for me. This is what I'm reading. I picked it back up. It's Malice House from Megan Stewart. Is that the name? Yeah, no, Shepard, sorry. I am 106 pages in. I'm glad I picked this back up because so far I really like it. It's a mystery. It's good. It's basically about a girl who goes back to her childhood home. Her father's a famous author. She finds an unpublished manuscript that's nothing like the dad's previous writing. So it's all... Jesus, these people scare me parking near me. I hate when people have to park next to me. But it's an un it's a manuscript that no one's seen before and she wants to illustrate it. It's nothing like the father's past work. It's like um, horror bedtime stories and she wants to illustrate for it. But all kinds of crazy things start to happen in the house. This is really fun so far. So I'm excited to sit back and read a little more. That's what I was gonna do while I'm sitting here. But I wanted to turn the camera and talk surprise surprise and then i thought we would go through my purse see if we have anything good in here usually it's just snacks um i'm gonna probably change purses here so i have my wallet what i have in here is my wallet my husband and i were driving together because we were gossiping um one of our friends is just having a hard time there or this couple of ours is just it's his friend but they're just having a hard time um and they're involving my husband like usual. A $10 bill, I usually don't have cash. I prefer to have cash, but I don't usually have it. I don't wanna keep this big wallet. I asked for Mother's Day. They're like $290. They're the little Louis Vuitton card holders. I would like one with like the hot stamp like I have with my purse. I know $290 is outrageous, but if three of if my two sisters and my husband um put their money together they could definitely split the gift but I, I go back and forth like do i want something silly like that where i can go to walmart and get one for ten dollars but i've also said you know i would love a treadmill so we'll see then i have these these are delicious when i was growing up i hated gummy candy now i can't get enough of it these are great these are the Jolly Rancher gummies, sour cherry, limeade, lemonade, sorry, sour lime, lemonade, and sour strawberry lemonade. I used to take these to like the basketball game with me because some nights we were there late. Oh, these are my new nails, by the way. Aren't they pretty? They look very natural. They're from Kiss and I feel like they look super duper, super duper natural. Almost like they're my real nails. I really like these. I would just bring that with me when I would go to basketball because we would be there late. This gum's really good. If you're looking for a new gum, Mentos is pretty good. It's nice and refreshing and it stays minty pretty long. Now I'm like pretty like old grandma-y. I love having these little, oops, these little mints. Oh God, come on. I love having these, they're good. And everybody loves them. And like, you don't realize like you love them until you see them. I have my uh, library card. I always keep that with me because I go to the library every single Wednesday as part of my job. That's one of the errands that we run on our travel days. We go to the library, um, unless he has to go like do laundry or has to go to the bank or whatever else. But we always 
Wednesday, always go to the library in Avalon. Um, this is 09 Spice from Milani, my favorite. I have like 40 of these. Not really. I have like four of them. Um, this is great. This is just a little sample of the Tower, thir tw Tower 28 and Chill. I had a full size, but my daughter stole it. I asked her not to, but it's gone. And in one week, she used almost half the bottle. So I was like, just keep it. This lipstick is gorgeous. It's from Ulta Beauty. I got it as a freebie years ago. Uh, no, it was about two years ago. Was it? I don't know. It's called Barely There. I've shown it many times. It's almost done. It's beautiful. It's just barely there. It's absolutely perfect for my girlies who don't want a lot. I have my AirPods. I keep them with me. You want to know something? These my grandmother gave me. I saw them. For some reason, she's eating ginger, like candy ginger, and I tried it and almost threw up. I don't like ginger. I try to like ginger. I like ginger ale of all kind, but I friggin' hate any kind of ginger. Fresh ginger, any type of ginger. I can taste ginger when they put too much in my food. I don't like ginger. But these are from uh, Prince of Peace Lemon Ginger Chew. I don't know there is an allergy warning they are made in that processed peanuts so you know this is just sugar sugar cane ginger tapioca starch virgin coconut oil and natural lemon flavors i actually like these believe it or not they're like a spicy lemon these are not bad they're really not bad you guys, I did go into the patient portal and I looked at my blood work. I shouldn't have. I cannot. My doctor had a family emergency and he hasn't called me back. But my cholesterol was up really high. My platelets were high by like 16 points. But I think my platelets are high because um, I'm either testing positive for Lyme's disease or Epstein-Barr or both. I don't know which, which could absolutely explain the pure exhaustion, the pins and needles in my fingers and toes, and the achiness. I um, also am so low in my vitamin D, which also could be contributing to me being exhausted. And I went when I was on my period and it said that there was blood in my urine or like I had a, a UTI, but I wonder if that affected it because I have zero symptoms of any UTI. So we'll see. I was nervous about my platelets being high, but my grandma was like, you need to be more concerned if they're low um, and they weren't that high over. My cholesterol was through the roof. That's because I've been eating terribly. I've told you guys that several times. And my blood sugar was high, but the normal range was like, the highest it could be was 99 and mine was 100. So I was one point over. Now I'm not a doctor. I know nothing. I don't know. Maybe it's more serious than I think, but I assume that if there was like a major issue with my platelets, it would be like four or five hundred points over or a hundred points over. It was only 16 points. And I wonder if that infection like the, if I do have Lyme's disease or if I um, do have Epstein-Barr if that will affect your platelets I don't know for sure my grandmother kind of explained it that way um, and the only reason I believe her is because she has so many medical issues regardless that is all I know so far as far as my blood work I haven't heard from the doctor if I don't hear from him on Thursday I'm going to call them back I called them Friday he was out for a family emergency little mirror um so we'll go from there i can't panic because like my husband said we both can't panic and if something's wrong we fix it if i'm testing positive again for limes i did uh, about a year ago and i was on so much medication that i almost lost my mind you guys i was on so many antibi antibiotics so much medication i literally thought that I was going to have to check myself into the medical ward, like the mental ward. I thought that that was it for me. I didn't think that I didn't know how I was going to snap out of it. And so like, I don't know what's going to happen. If it is Epstein-Barr, I had Epstein-Barr 
and mono as a kid so i don't know if that just stays in your system i don't know anything so as soon as i do i will update you i have another lip liner that's where that went i have my jeffree star mannequin which is my favorite lipstick of all time if anyone knows a dupe let me know and then my favorite lip gloss which are these maybelline i have stone which is this one and i have the milky pink one that i love but yeah, that's everything. This little bag, I feel bad because my husband got me that beautiful, beautiful purse. Um, I don't know if I showed it on here or just my TikTok, but I just love this crossbody bag. But I know I need to use the one he got me because he loves it so much. But I really love this crossbody bag. It's like, sometimes it's annoying. Um if i wear it like the wrong way or i'm like oh gosh and i don't realize how heavy it is because i do put my heavy ass this wallet's so heavy um but i'm just kind of over i've been over big purses for so long but it is a beautiful purse so i probably end up using it here very soon but i love this crossbody bag this is my dream so what i'm thinking i'll do is i'll put this maybe in the big bag and then I can just use both whenever I need to. They put way too much ice in this. That way they can get away with not giving you hardly anything. That's okay. It's a little too sweet for me. Um, I love this. I love the color of it. It's beautiful. It's so easy to carry. And it was literally 25 bucks. You guys, I used to be somebody. My daughter is such a pig. She leaves trash in my car every morning when she takes something to eat in the morning before school. You guys, I was that person that was like, Louis Vuitton this or Gucci this. I have to have a Louis Vuitton. Baby, it is not worth it. I will go to Walmart. I will save that mortgage payment that I would spend on a purse and pay my mortgage and not struggle. And I'll go to Walmart or if I really wanted Louis Vuitton, get the dupes. They have so many online that look, you could not tell the difference. You buy one off of uh, like a seller that sells them for $300, the makers, the ones that are, I know I shouldn't promote that, but if you really want a Louis Vuitton that bad, don't, unless you have it, don't waste it. it you get older and realize that that material bullshit, I wasted money on them and I regret it. I regret it and I never should have bought them. They're... They're nothing special. They're really not. I mean, the one I love because my husband, we had just started um, making a little more money and he bought it as a surprise and I love it and cherish it for that reason. Never again. I'd rather spend that money on memories and trips and doing things with my family. I'm not doing it. That's why I don't like spend money on stupid things like I don't go get my nails done. I'll go and buy a $5 pack. I just have given up a lot of that crazy stuff as I got older. I just, I don't care. It's like this car, I drove a Lincoln before this car and I loved that Lincoln. It was one of the nicest cars I ever drove. Um, it was a Lincoln SUV. It was one of the ones that were completely luxury. It had every feature it was gorgeous it had every feature in it like it was the ones that are like totally cherried out an oil change was 180 dollars and anytime there was an issue it was so much money i had to get a tire replaced and the rim was messed up and it was a thousand dollars to replace the tire i said to my husband last july i said i want to get rid of this lincoln i said i can't it's too much it's too too much so i went back to a gmc terrain i and this is a lease and our lease will be up next year sorry my husband was texting me this is a lease and i told him like i need to make your life easier my life easier i'll go in a honda i, I don't care the cars now are beautiful or we'll buy out this lease and i'll keep this car i'm not gonna i keep thinking like at first, the leasing options were good, but now with the shortage of, vehicle, shortage of vehicles, it's just not. And every time you go get a lease, they make you put down that damn payment. I want to keep a car. 
I've had four different cars. How many cars have I had? No, three different cars in less than six years. I just am done. This car is fine. I have the sunroof. This car is just the basic model and it's perfect. I feel safe in this car. It drives beautifully. It's not the best on gas, but it's because it has a smaller tank. But I'm okay with it because I don't drive much. We usually are in my husband's Kia anyway. I'm okay with like the bare minimum. What I like to enjoy and indulge in is buying makeup once in a while and a book here and there. And I stopped buying books. I started going to the library. Really, I enjoy ju buying jewelry pieces every once in a while. And even then, I go to Penny's. Jay-Z Penny and Macy's has gorgeous jewelry. And I don't care. I don't need something from Kay or from a private jeweler. I'm okay with all of this. I'm okay with just enjoying things. Like I said, name brand stuff is just not for me anymore. I don't even know why we're talking about it. I sometimes look back at my videos. I'm like, oh, I shouldn't have said that. Ooh, why would anybody want to watch it? I am like boring. Why does anybody want to watch my videos? But somebody might relate to me and enjoy watching my videos. I'm fun in real life, I promise. I'm not complaining and boring all the time. Like, the one person in our life that's having a hard time, I keep, like, she distanced herself from me. She doesn't really talk to me, which is fine. I don't care. But I always think, like, if she would just let me into her life, I would help her and change her life and make her, like, realize, like, you don't have to put up with some bullshit in your life. You... If you're doing it alone, you might as well be alone, girls. You know what I mean? Like, I hate watching people be taken advantage of, but it is what it is. But I'm going to let you just go because I believe I've been talking for like 20 minutes. I'm going to read for a little bit. I'll probably just post this unedited because there's not much editing to do other than just putting a few clips together. But yeah, I think that's it. My hair looks so crazy, you guys. I've been playing... I love the blonde. I've been blonde since my mom passed away in 2015. My natural hair color is... My sister likes to torment me and say it's black. But my hair isn't black. It's actually very... Like the color of my eyebrows. Like a dark... Like the darkest brown before black. I don't actually have black hair. My dad did. My dad was Irish. His last name was Cosgrove. So you know... Patrick Cosgrove. So you don't get much more Irish than that. So my father is Irish and I believe that's all he was, was Irish. And then my grandfather is the third generation from Hungary. So I have Irish from my father. My mother is Hungarian, Windish, I believe it's called, or maybe it's just Hungarian. Um... And then Irish from my grandmother. So I would say mostly I have Irish and Hungarian in my whatever it is, my makeup. Um, my grandfather looks very hungry. Hung my grandfather looks very Hungarian. His mother looked very Hungarian. My aunt took on that side of the family. She looks very Hungarian. Um, I don't so much... Um, I have blue eyes and dark brown hair. I do look a, quite a bit Irish, I believe. I don't know. Maybe I don't. My mother looked very, very European. A lot of people, my mom worked with a lot of people that came over from Russia. And they would always say, you look like my mother. You look Russian. You look like my mother. And they loved her because she had this long brown hair and blue eyes. And they would be like, you look like my Russian mother. And my mom did look Russian. Um, she was beautiful. She really was a beautiful person. She never thought she was, but she really was. And my aunt looks very Hungarian. She's very exotic looking and beautiful. Or she was when she was younger. Now she's kind of like a little frumpy. <laughs> but, um, what was I going with that? I don't know. Oh, I have naturally pretty dark hair. So that's why my roots always are like weird the first few days that I dye my hair. Um, when I first started out, I was like a caramel color. And then I don't even know how I got to this light 
of a color because you can still see on the bottom this is even lighter than what I originally started out with I originally started out with like a caramel blonde then I went with this color for probably three years and then somehow I accidentally bought the wrong color and then uh this has been what the color has been this is like six months of no about a year I've been this light 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 blonde um I tone it once a week with Fanola it's really harsh on my hair but I do use it but I've been thinking about I don't know it, the getting rid of the blonde freaks me out because it's who I am it's who I've been for so long and I haven't seen myself brunette and then I play with the idea of going red I had red hair Oh, I was a redhead for three or four years and it took me so long to get the red out of my hair and then I went black and that was a big mistake because it just washed me out so then I went uh, blonde after my mom passed away I've never had any fun colors in my hair I've never done any unnatural colors other than that like crazy red I did that first I just did the bangs like people did in the 2000s and then I went like a uh, real red all over but I don't know I love the blonde I just wish I could get and a lot of people love like this reverse balayage that I kind of have going on and it's natural it's not natural but it like did it itself kind of because the roots just kept growing and this is like what it used to be but I don't know people are watching me talk to myself they must think I'm nuts but I really don't give a shit but I'm thinking I love the blonde and probably will never go back to brown until my hair falls out I've been thinking of the idea of maybe getting wigs too I've been thinking of the idea of I wish I could figure out how to wear a wig because I put a lot of damage in my hair what I do I don't know I don't even know what the hell I'm talking about I would never wear a wig I don't know how to and I really don't put that much heat on my hair I only curl my hair once a week once I style it I don't do anything with it look how crazy it looks so I tried to cut it the other day and then I'll let you go actually today so two weeks ago I tried to cut these pieces here as you can see they're much shorter I cut these so I'm like you know excuse me I'm like you know what frigate I'll try to do like that butterfly cut so this morning I split the two pieces I cut it because I want like a long 70s shag I started with this middle part and I wanted something kind of like that where it kind of but I don't want to lose a lot of my length and do a shag but now it just looks choppy and uneven I do like these pieces here how it blends it looks pretty I just wish I could figure out if anyone knows what I can do with these roots how do I get these roots to blend what am I doing wrong I don't want a shadow root please don't suggest that I hate the look on me I love it on everyone else including my daughter but on me I just can't stand the shadow root I just want this to match this part of my hair I know I need to tone it but what toner would you suggest if you know because I get mixed signals about the uh like T18 or the I've used I did T18 once but I've also used the the other one that's beige but I'll let you go I've probably already talked for 30 minutes and I don't even know what I'm gonna ramblings of a crazy woman that's what I'm gonna call this okay I will see you all tomorrow